Good Friday morning. I'm Meadow Hills Church family. I'm bringing a devotional this morning on Good Friday. Maybe you hear the birds singing. I'm on the back porch of my house. And, uh, but we need to remember that this was one of the darkest days in our Savior's life. And the things that he endured for us on the cross brought redemption and salvation. And so this morning I'm actually just going to read from Mark chapter 15 some of the different aspects of those last hours in Jesus' life. Mark 15, verse 1, As soon as it was morning, the chief priests held a consultation with the elders and scribes and the whole council, and they bound Jesus and led him away and delivered him over to Pilate. And Pilate asked him, Are you the king of the Jews? And he answered, You have said so. And the chief priests accused him of many things, and Pilate again asked him, Have you no answer to make? See how many charges they bring against you. But Jesus made no further answer, so that Pilate was amazed. Now at the feast, he used to release for them one prisoner for whom they asked. And among the rebels in prison who had committed murder in the insurrection, there was a man called Barabbas. And the crowd came up and began to ask Pilate to do as he usually did for them. And he answered them, saying, Do you want me to release for you the king of the Jews? For he perceived that it was out of envy that the chief priests had delivered him up. But the chief priests stirred up the crowd to have him release for them Barabbas instead. And Pilate again said to them, Then what shall I do with the man you call king of the Jews? And they cried out again, Crucify him, crucify him. And Pilate said to them, Why, what evil has he done? And they shouted all the more, Crucify him. So Pilate, wishing to satisfy the crowd, released for them Barabbas. And having scourged Jesus, he delivered him to be crucified. And the soldiers led him away inside the palace, that is the governor's headquarters, And they called together the whole battalion, and they clothed him in a purple cloak, and twisting a crown of thorns, they put it on him, and they began to salute him, Hail, King of the Jews! And they were striking his head with a reed, and spitting on him, and kneeling down in homage to him. And when they had mocked him, they stripped him of his purple cloak, and put his own clothes on him. Then they led him out to be crucified." And they compelled a passerby, Simon of Cyrene, who was coming into the country from the father of Alexander and Rufus to carry his cross. And they brought him to the place called Golgotha, which means place of the skull. And they offered him wine mixed with myrrh, but but he did not take it. And they crucified him and divided his garments among them, casting lots for them to decide which each should take. And it was a third hour when they crucified him. And the inscription of the charge against him read the king of the Jews and with him they crucified two robbers one on his right and one on his left and those who passed by derided him wagging their heads and saying aha you who would destroy the temple and rebuild it in three days save yourself and come down from the cross so also the chief priests with the scribes mocked him to one another saying he saved others he can't save himself let the Christ the king of Israel come down from the cross that we may believe and see Those who were crucified with him also reviled him. And when the sixth hour had come, there was darkness over the whole land until the ninth hour. And at the ninth hour, Jesus cried with a loud voice, Eloi, Eloi, lama sabachthani, which means, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? And some of the bystanders hearing it said, Behold, he's calling Elijah. And someone ran and filled a sponge with sour wine, put it on a reed, and gave it to him to drink, saying, Wait, Let us see whether Elijah will come down to take him. And Jesus uttered a loud cry and breathed his last. And the curtain of the temple was torn in two from top to bottom. And when the centurion who stood facing him saw that that in this way he breathed his last, he said, Truly this man was the Son of God. And there were also women looking on from a distance. Among them were Mary Magdalene, Mary the mother of James, the younger, and Joseph and Salome. When he ministered in Galilee, they followed him and ministered to him. And there were also other women who came up with him to Jerusalem. Jesus laid down his life for us. Let's remember his suffering today.